Hey guys, Carl Brown from Guitar Lesson 365 again, and uh, we're going to look at the third part here for classical gas. Uh, this has got some stuff that moves around pretty quick, especially when it gets to the C section, uh, or C part, or whatever. So let's uh, take a look at this. Um, uh, this... So we have, we're going to, it's kind of similar to the, the main theme, but not really. Uh, we have a um, A minor figure again where we're going to do the same thing. A little just that half of it that that starts the um, the main theme of the song that we've covered before all right now we're gonna do this we're gonna take uh, keep these two fingers there put your third finger on the uh, B string third fret and you're gonna pick across from the fifth to the fourth third and second string so the, the four middle strings just with your thumb index middle and ring finger all right then we're gonna come back to this your, your first fret, uh, your first finger here, just a standard A minor chord. But the only strings you're gonna pick this time are gonna be the open A, the D, and then the uh, B string. Now you can do that with uh, the B string with your middle or ring finger, whatever is more comfortable. And then lift up the first finger, pick those same three strings, and then you just end it with the fifth string open, and then the fourth string. So it's. So, so, so far we got all right then we go back to that same phrase that starts the main theme now we're going to pick across the four middle strings again but it's just going to be with the open B string all right and then we're going to finish it with that same figure that we ended the main theme with in the first video which was just that uh, A minor, just fourth, fifth, and third strings played through twice, and then the A string and the D string to end it. All right, same phrase again. So uh, that was the same one with the open B string there, the four strings in the middle. And then we're going to do this pattern. We're going to go back to the A, the, hold an A minor chord, that same three note picking pattern that we did open A, D, over to the B. That's with your first finger down on it. Then do it again, but have it so you're uh, you're holding the third fret now on the on the B string, and then pick open A to the D. So we have so we got all right. Now we got this cool little line. So that is going to be. Um, once again, a repetitive picking pattern. We're going to start it here on the with your holding the fifth fret on the B string and the G string, and you're going to pick the open A string along with the B string with your um, your middle finger. So we have then pick the G, then go back to the B. So so it's a three note pattern really. And then you're going to take that same pattern and then you're going to do three and four here. Uh, on the B string and the G. Then move that down two frets. And then all open strings. So the pattern picking pattern stays the same. Alright, then come back to the second fret here on the G string and hit the open A with it. And then go 0, 1, 0 on the B string. So we got that's just middle index middle fingers I'm picking that with. Now the C major section, which is uh, a little bit tricky. All right, so we got the C on the third fret of the fifth string here, along with. Um, the open high E string, play the high E with your middle finger. So we have, then down to the third fret on the B with your index, back to the high E open, and then to the first fret on the B with your index finger. Then pick across those strings by doing the third uh, thumb here on the fifth string, open G, and the second string now with your, your uh, middle finger, and then your index that same string open. It's all together. 
then come to this chord shape we've played before, second fret on the fifth string, third fret on the B. So you pick the A string and then the open G, then the A string along with the B string together, then the open G. Then reach over and grab the first uh, fret here on the high E string along with the fifth string again, pull off to the open string, and then the middle finger on the B and then the open G with your index. All together. All right, now we have, this is now the A string open now with the high E string open. Same uh, thumb and middle finger. So down to the third fret on the B, then back to the open E, then the first fret on the B. Then open A, second fret on the G, First fret on the B, followed by open string on the B. All right, then come to this G here. So it's, it's gonna be like a G7. And we have the third fret on the G string, third fret on the B, and then first fret on the high E string. So we have pick, open, pick the sixth string, then the open G, then the sixth string and the B together followed by the open G again. And then the sixth string and the first string together. And then again, pull off from the first fret to the open string. Then three on the B string, open G. I'm using my middle finger on this top string and then again on the B string. And I have time to do that because of the pull off. So all together, that whole C major section. the G7 section, it continues just like the second half in the main theme. All right, so that's how he leads into the next section of the song. And that'll be the last section of the song that we will cover. It's got a lot of repeated parts you already got, so it's not going to be a very long lesson. But I'll see you then. Bye-bye.